dangerous She's armed and dangerous Armed and dangerous The chapter I was lead You know that I'm in please You're anticipating a call The days in the sun Slowly winding down The summer Has turned into fall Remember when the old time story was a heat Children don't delay Delays are dangerous Delays are dangerous Mama want her children Mama call her children Mama call her children Such disgrace The vultures kept fighting for more Now the days are done And night is turned to dawn Your love is what's pushing us on Remember when the old time story was said Children don't delay Delays are dangerous Good friend of mine, Dr. Yates, for quite a few years now, used to live in St. Thomas, television personality, radio personality, grasp, mathics expert, then had a period of time when he disappeared from us, but he was over on St. Croix, and now he's back, and he's going to share with you some information, some math facts that you can utilize right now as well as in the future. I want you to listen carefully, pay attention to everything that is being said. And I'm sure this will help you on the I.O. Okay? So let's join hands and welcome to you. Everything we do in life is based on math. So it's important, very important, that you learn math the easy, fun, simple, and fast way. By doing so, every other topic that you're learning in school will come easy. You notice I said topic and not subject? Who can tell me, what's the difference between topic and subject? Ooh, put me to think this morning, eh, huh? Hmm. What's the difference between topic and subject? Who can tell me? Y'all the first class. Y'all supposed to be like, ha, ha, ha. All motivated. <laughs> oh, what's, it, what's the difference? Stand, stand. <clears throat> when you talk, stand, please. <clears throat> and here's the reason why you have to stand. You see, when you're standing, you become now the educator. And to educate means to draw the best in others, right? So you can't sit on information and deliver. You sit, think, and stand, and deliver. Like I'm standing and delivering, right? Okay? 
So, what's the difference between topic and subject? A topic is, is a topic is, is a main piece of the story. Like okay, it, all right. And a subject is like a, is like, is like something, a main concern of the story, subject. So the game? The subject, the topic. Speak up loud so they can hear you. Young, he's loud, isn't he? Is the loud person out there, right? Yeah. Oh, y'all oh, are graders. No, 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 okay, they're not. Yeah. Speak up loud so they all the, can hear you. The topic is the main key of the story, mm -hmm. and the subject is, is talking about the, um, the, 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 the mid part of the story. All right, compliment it by clapping. Compliment it. Okay, good try. I want a young lady, a young lady. Who's, who's volunteer? A young lady. And give it a try. And tell me what, what, what's the difference between a topic and a subject. What? All these smart looking young ladies by hair? <laughs> I'm surprised. Y'all surprised me this morning. Okay, class. Perception versus conception. All right? The question is, what is perception? If you have an idea what it is, raise your hand, stand up, and deliver. Because when I ask you a question, and you decide to give me the answer, you must stand and deliver because at this particular moment, or at that particular moment, you are the educator. And educators don't sit on knowledge, they call knowledge. Alright? Alright? Alright. Good. Here we go. What is perception? What does perception mean? Who has an idea? Okay, the first part, okay. What is perception? What is perception? What, what are your names? Yes. Okay. And what do you think perception means? Speak up loud. Perception is like taking it something like as it is said. Yes. Compliment him. Compliment him. Compliment him. That's right. Perception is the reality of things. Did you guys write it down in your book before? Okay, write it down. Perception means one's view. One's means a person, right? One's view of a thing as it is. Okay? What is the reality? In, in one word, perception means what? Reality. What perception means? Reality. Talk up loud to me. Come on. What perception means? Reality. Right. Reality is perception. So therefore, we're looking at two words. Perception versus, or perception challenging, the word conception. Now, notice, what is the prefix of the word perception? What are the first three letters of perception? Per. Per, per is the prefix. Prefix is meaning words come before, and suffix is what? Words come after, right? So the prefix of the word perception is per. What does per mean? Each. Ah, one. In math, B-Y, by, as in time table. It means by also in mathematics, in graphmatics. All right? So each, as an individual. That is the reason why linguistically you have the word person. How many people are you talking about? One. One, exactly. Now, question. Young lady, are you a person? Yes. Young lady, are you a person? Speak up loud, I can't hear you. Yes. Okay. Young lady, are you a person? Yes. Good. Now, we are told that they are a person, but they're not. No, they're right, they're female. You're not a person. Son is boy. Exactly. <laughs> Poor daughter. Who said that? So you are what? A poor daughter. <laughs> you like that?